Okay, we're going to go back into our tables and we're going to kind of clean it up so it's a little bit more attractive than that. And put a border around it and then we are going to space it out so there's more white space between our columns. So let's have a look at our code. I'm going to come in to the table here and I'm going to add an attribute border equals one to my table. Now let's save that out. And let's see what changes that makes to our page. Now notice it puts a border not just around the whole table but between the rows and between the columns. But it still looks very cluttered to me. So what if we were to come down and say oh, width equals 40% and add that to our first column. Whoops, I'm sorry, that's on our row. Silly me. Let's come and put it into our first column. Again, it was width equals 40%. Then let's come down to our second one and add the attribute width and make the width equal to 40%. We're just guessing here. We can adjust it later. And then the last one, well, you know, the last one, if we just leave it blank, it will take the additional 20%. Now this is the width of the table. And if I don't change the width of the table, it might not look a whole lot different. Well, let's test that out. Let's just go ahead and do a quick save and a refresh. And well, we spaced out a little bit, but I need to have more space for school. Can you see how the E in Lansing Community College bumps right up there. So let's change our school with the 50%. I'll save that out. And let's refresh. Oh! Well, let's change it so that Our table has a width of 100%. Now you might be saying, well, the table is 100% of itself. Sure. Well, let's have a look. When I say the table is 100%, it's 100% of the width of your window not 100% of itself. So now we've got some space and we're not looking too bad. So let's call that good and uh, our next podcasts will deal with lists. Now you know how to do tables.